Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Ever since I was a kid, I've been infatuated with space. Whether it's the stars, the planets, or simply just wondering, are we alone? UFOs? Any UFOs? Did you ask about that? I certainly asked about it. And? Can't tell you. Some believe all this was created by something called the Big Bang Theory. Because the Big Bang is not going to go away. All the data support this. So now I've got this Big Bang thing, okay? And, well, is this embedded in something bigger? While others believe there's a God that created. That may be something we truly never know or agree on, but one thing most can agree on is how unique and beautiful it all is. It's been more than 500 astronauts that's been fortunate enough to be able to see our planet from the outside looking in. And if I ever got the chance to see it, I most definitely would. But as of now, the closest thing to being able to see or experience space is in Huntsville, Alabama at the Space and Rocket Center. All right, so here we are walking in. We're in a little bit of a situation, right? I got this bad habit of deleting my emails. I deleted the emails with the tickets in there. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully they'll um, be able to pull everything up so we can get in without an issue. So we'll see. We may be all right. I don't know. Hello. Can you pull my email up? Like I, I got activity scheduled and everything. So after explaining myself for about 20 minutes, talking to supervisors and making sure this little guy doesn't steal my camera, we finally got the tickets. We got the tickets, but I need to hurry up because my VR snorkeling thing is at 930 and it is what 928 right now. I got two minutes. So let's hurry up and get there. Where's your uh, snorkeling VR? Alright. I smell the water. Where's the snorkeling? Uh, I don't VR? actually know. No I idea. Just okay, <laughs> thank you. I have no idea, yo. Hurry, hurry. Excuse me, snorkeling in the VR. That would be if you go out here and take a left. Okay, I'm still looking for it, no idea. Yeah, sometimes it's up there. Okay, thank you. I'm lost, yo. What time is this? 9.31 now. And this is the guy that we're looking for. <laughs> Look, I found it. <laughs> Look, I've literally been looking for this for the past five, ten minutes. It was like, everybody was like, all right, you go out left and you go around the side. I was like, oh man, and then I run around like, no, this is the cafeteria, this ain't it. Yeah. I knew I was close though. No, yeah, I, <laughs> I went down there to look. Um, mm -hmm. and I realized the time wasn't uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is oh wow. Our Look at this. Uh-huh. Uh, tank is uh, 24 feet deep. Right now. Mm -hmm. water. now that I finally made it, after signing a quick liability waiver, it was time to get in. Okay. okay. This is amazing. How you doing, man? How are you? I'm Sarat. I'm Chimbo. Okay, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. This is Diver Plus. Okay. Diver Plus is a snorkeling experience. Right. Have you snorkeled before? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everywhere. Okay, cool. So you'll have a mask on and a snorkel. And um, in the mask will be a virtual reality trip. Whatever you want. I've got a space, I've got a dragon, and I have a uh, underwater experience, ocean reef type.
pop up, pop up those that ladder. The, the showers get warm. Okay. There's towels if you didn't bring one near the showers. Okay. Man, that was cool, man. It felt like you're really in space. Thank y'all. Appreciate yeah. it, man. All right. All right. So we just got done with it, man. It's crazy because you find yourself getting kind of nervous, like, because it really feels like you're in space. They got like three things that you can choose from. And I chose the space, the space one. And you holding on to the rails and flying through space. You see in the planets, you see Jupiter, Mars, and you go inside the space station. It was pretty cool. That was, that was well worth the money. I'm glad I got to do it. I'm glad I made it. Mm-hmm. I see. I think it's part of our job, our responsibility to do that as the, you know, the public face of, of NASA. You know, anything we can do to get them more excited about studying science, math, engineering, technology is uh, something we should be doing. My mission is to take the experiences that I had in space, seeing this incredible planet going around it every 90 minutes, seeing the sunrise and the sunset every 45, and bring that down to the classroom so the kids can say, wow, I can do that. And that, that guy looks kind of like me. Maybe I can be an astronaut. And Each one of us has this passion and drive for something. Finding that passion is only the first step because more importantly, you have to be willing to put in the hard work. Dreams are very special in the sense that they can't be bought. They can't be given to you and you have to want it. Yeah, it's an astronaut. It's yeah, a real astronaut. <laughs> it's a real astronaut? Yes. <laughs> story time after letting the girls play for a while it was time to grab a bite to eat at mars grill ready to eat hey you ready to eat you ready to eat Man, I'm glad the sun came back out. Man, where's the receipt at? Uh oh, I think I lost the receipt. <laughs> no, I didn't. I got it. All right, so we already done the underwater snorkeling. Okay, we have the Apollo experience when they went to the moon at one o'clock. It is 12:31 right now, so we'll be doing that next. How you doing, Thank you. Wow, you got a lot today, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we've been busy. Uh -huh. We're going to the moon. Apollo 11, 
axis which I'm not doing that I don't do spinning rods <laughs> Jerica she gonna do that can't do that y'all Eddie might throw up and also we have at 3 30 I think this is the um behind the scenes tour so I think that should be pretty neat I'll make sure I leave a link down below so you can view all the activities and everything from their site where's my phone oh my god oh it's in my pocket whoo thought I lost my phone so we're about to do the shuttle experience behind the scenes tour I don't know if they allow cameras in there but we're gonna find out Uh, futuristic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our mission takes place uh, for space camp trainees in the year 2034, so it is kind of futuristic. We're not floating. No, we didn't turn off the gravity. feet and descending we are about to come up on our heading alignment cone the moon shot yeah actually I didn't do that one uh, I think you, you do have to pay for it yeah I most definitely would have done it <laughs> if you wish to leave raise your hand you look like a you're an astronaut there you go Blast off. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Madison. <laughs> Come on.
All right, guys, I want to thank you. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I create these videos so you can see the experience before you attend these places. Tell me what you think about the Space and Rocket Center in the comments. Feel free to subscribe. And for one last message, when I think about space, of course I think about the unknown. But when you turn around, we truly only have one home. It's so many people that's against each other in the world, whether it's because of race, religion, or even law enforcement. It's unbelievable because in actuality, we all have to work together to take care of our planet. We're all connected one way or another. And for the kids that's watching, you could be anything that you desire to be, whether it's a lawyer, doctor, artist, or even an astronaut.